What is this series called? Trulies and Space Dust? Yours Trulies? But one thing I want to say before I start today's video is when I was in college, I had a friend who was a girl and I met her there. And she was telling me that she felt, she felt like there wasn't too many female creators and she wished there was more. So today, the, a lot of them that I'm going to be sharing, they are females and you guys can see the people who inspire me. And it all comes together to make up I what I believe, my style. Okay, and if it's super choppy, it's because we're looking at these photos live and we're going through everyone's um, Instagram, what do they call it? Feed? Yeah, Instagram feed separately. So I'm going to be cutting probably a lot just to show you guys what we're talking about. And I'll be screen recording right now too. Damn, I don't remember everyone's name. I should have. Okay, I thought you wrote it down. I have it here. But I just don't know their names. Like I just know their Instagram handles. Oh, you don't know their actual name? Yeah. So I guess her name's Kat. This girl's freaking sick. The way she shoots a lot of the, the photos are like a 90s. Clean. They're She's, sick, huh? Yeah. And one thing I like about this, I don't know how she does it, but she does a star thing to all her photos. I know there's apps for this, but to me, it seems like hers is very selective on where she puts it. So I'm pretty sure she does it herself. Yeah, because she's got the, um, go back? Yeah, I'll go back. It's not just a little star, but it's got that little, um, the blurriness, like when you, uh, it's like the rubbing Vaseline on your lens and it gives you that, like, the blurry effect. It kind of really dreamy, like. But you could tell she doesn't do that. She does it probably post, huh? At least I would think so. I don't think she did it. Yeah, I think but, that's post. But I know we were talking about, and I'll put that technique he's talking about up right here so you guys can check it out and do it with your photos. I like the colors, actually. You see, again, another triangle thing. I think it's kind of cool. The starlight filter? Not filter, but like the little shininess. Yeah, and I'm going to show you one of my favorite photos from her. Oh, where is it? There's another one. Dude, this girl's good. Her editing is freaking good. This is sick. So it looks like that's like uh, one of her big strong suits, right? Yeah, this is sick. Dude, she's good. Another one. What another is she, like a um, concert photographer or something? I have no idea. She does shoot for an artist. I don't know the artist, but she takes hella good photos of her. Watch, I'll show you right now. Dude, this, I think it's this girl. This is the girl she shoots a lot. Ke Ke oh, Kehlani? That's no, her? No, it's Kiana. <laughs> Kiana Lee? Dude, but her photos of her are freaking sick. Watch. She has, she has that glow and star effect. There you go. It's called glow. The glowing effect. Let me show you one more. Oh, this is one that I really like. I actually bookmarked the it. The vibes are good. I already know I bookmarked it because her style is good. It's just a sick night vibe. It's simple, it's good. Like sometimes I wish I took six simple ones. Like that art, I don't know. I sounded like a, I sounded weird, no? Like some six simple ones. They're just so clean is what it I mean. It was just a complimented backhand. <laughs> I meant like it's clean. It's so simple, but fucking good. I can't take good simple photos. Seamless. Oh, okay, this one is sick. Like when I say editing, I think this is really, like it's selective glow almost on the gloves. Mm -hmm. And then this looks hella clean. Her hair looks... The skin looks clean. Her hair too? Look at that lineup. Mm. Hair quality? What's the retouching on Salon quality? <laughs> Dustin. Dustin Poirier. It's not even a compliment to say salon quality for a guy's haircut. I know, but he thought he, it was, huh, when yeah. he said it. I'm a better boxer. More youthful. Can dance better, better looking. I mean, man, my hair is salon quality. Alright, so I think we saw some pretty good ones from her. Well, hold on, let's see this one. This one's pretty sick, too. All right, now I'm going to move on to the next person. Oh, this girl's sick. This is, um, I don't know how I found her, but she shoots for Skrillex that she shot with, I don't remember her name. She used to be super big. She shot, she is big. She shot with uh, Tatiana. What, I forget. You remember that one girl, the model girls that were really big when we first started into him? Tiana? Tiana? T Tiana G? Tiana G, yeah. So the, the girl? <laughs> the girl. Tatiana G? I don't know why I said Tatiana. Who's Tatiana? I don't know. I thought you were talking about the huh? fighter. Yeah. yeah Tatiana, Tatiana Suarez. Oh, yeah. That's what I was probably thinking Tatiana. about. Tatiana. Oh, yeah. So this girl's coughs. She's pretty mom, too. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Cut <laughs> that out. <laughs> Edit myself out. No, so this is coughs. <laughs> and yeah, dude, this girl's freaking good. When I look at her photos, if I'm just scrolling through my feed, I already know it's her photos because her style is very distinct. If we were to ever go out, I changed my name to Drops so it could be Cough Drops. Yeah, I gotta cut that out. Joke <laughs> out. But she shoots a lot of sick portraits. Okay, this one's sick to me. 
Like, it has, like, a mood of Masa feel, like, the music video. Like, I wish this was mine, to be honest. Like, this was my photo. And this is what I'm talking about, too, when I say it's simple but clean. Just a really good photo. I think it's the contrast. And the little grain she adds to the, the jacket or whatever it is. Oh, I didn't even see, see that. Well, like I can't see it from an angle. Oh, look, another star effect here. That's pretty sick. Reminds me of Busted Rhymes. Especially because of all the jewelry. Mm -hmm. I think it adds to that. Okay, she shot a lot of times. She went on tour with... Ooh. I don't remember her name. Why, why don't I know anyone's name? I know, I was about to say her name, but I don't even... Something Caliuchis. Like the K, Caliuchis. <laughs> Dude, she took so many good photos of her. I think this, was the, this was the promo for her going on tour. She's like, I'm going to take this girl with me. I was like, dude, that's sick. Because Koff takes really good photos. And even this composition, I, I don't know if it's real. Like, I don't know if she actually waited for that fish to cross. Or I don't know how that was. But I know the music video does have this in it. Like a, an actual fish tank. So I'm pretty sure she did wait for the perfect moment to get this. Oh, for the fishes to cross? Yeah, that was a really sick composition. No, but there's one that I really like of Cal. This is sick too. The colors on this, moody. It's the blues and the pinks. Dude, that's sick. I don't even know how she thinks about these ideas. This is sick too. Another one with the same colors. With the octopus. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look. Okay, this one. <laughs> if you guys have seen Euphoria, this is the girl Maddie. Dude, she's freaking, you see me for you, like, dude, this girl's bomb. Well, this is the girl that she shot. And the, even like this, like, it's very symmetrical. And I think that's what makes it even better. That's what makes it look really, really good, right? Symmet the symmetry? symmetry? Yeah. It's like a clean portrait. I keep saying clean. I like that one more. This one? Yeah. The hair in front of the face? It's like, oh, this one. That's Caliucci's too? Yeah. This photo is sick. Like, yeah, it's they desaturated it's, the fucking water, huh? Yeah, but it's like a deep blue desaturated blue with the, the, the reds too. Yeah, but this was one of my favorite photos. I thought that was really tight. All right, next person. Oh, this one's one of my favorites. And this guy's a guy. But this guy, when I started seeing his edits, to me it was, it's like, uh, what do they say? If you're gonna go all the way, go all the way. If you're gonna go all out? Mm -hmm. No, like, don't be, like, half-ass, like, not half-ass, but don't be 50% on your edit. Like, if you really want to just go for that look, then just go for it. Like, if you're going to make it yellow, just make it yellow kind of thing. Because mm -hmm. sometimes I feel like, oh, but that's not how it looks in real life. Why am I doing it? But at the same time, it's your own style and your own feel to the photo. It doesn't matter if that's not how it looks in real life. Like, all these yellows, let me go. Maybe, like, this one. It gives yeah, it a whole hard. sunset feel. Mm -hmm. This one, too. Is that some nice clean. Slow at it? And I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite templates. He like makes templates too. Like this guy's a freaking beast. I feel like it takes time. It's not like you just put one overlay, because you gotta be selective on what's in the in the picture in the frame, and then you have to change every single one so they match. This is sick shooting like in this yeah. area with that a bunch of models. Oh, this is sick too. To me, this is sick. Composition, colors. Posing, fire. Bad bunny, bad bunny, baby. It's pretty clean lighting. It's soft. Deep shadows. I would be nervous shooting someone that big, even like Cardi. Like studio, maybe. That's maybe clean. if I was not in the studio, I wouldn't be as nervous, but I think studio would get a little bit nervous. Because like every little pose, you gotta adjust the lights. You gotta keep a couple poses first time before you move on. Mm -hmm. And you gotta keep them in that same position. This is a. The styling on this to me is sick. I know it's just a fur jacket. For some reason, every time you add a little Nike sign, it's a whole different vibe. That's it. That was a Nike sign? I, I want to say it's Nike. Maybe I'm wrong. Dude, he has so many good pictures of is Ashley that? Moore. Oh, that's Ashley Moore? Yeah, yeah. They still have those That one's hard. So my brother kind of met her. In a, yeah, he didn't mean, oh, dude, this mm -hmm. sun flare looks clean. This it's orange, post. yeah. This orange is, yeah. What is it called? Light, light leak. leak. Uh -huh. This orange is light leak with oh, the wait. orange colors. With this the... is bad boy? This is bad boy. You know oh. it. <laughs> I, was like, I didn't even hear you freaking search up his name. <laughs> yeah, he, he shot her a couple times. Dude, There's bad boy has some good photos of him. Mm. He's, he's really into the orange and warm tones. Like desert glow, like a Lion King vibe. Huh? Mm -hmm. It's sick though, I like it. And that's why on my last photo too, I kind of, I, I dead ass, I would say, I, I did get inspired by his edits. 
when I was looking at the photos, like the desert vibes, like what looks good and how can you edit it good? Like I don't remember his photos, like I'm just gonna go with that gold look. But yeah, this template's cool. I like how he adds, what is this? So like a streak, huh? Mm -hmm. I think that's what they do in film when they're like choosing their pictures. When you have your, um, what do they call your negatives? Like you tell them which one you want, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, this is my favorite ones with Ashley Moore. Like all these compositions to me were fire and the lighting too. Like this portrait over the back has a little blur. I don't know what that was. Maybe a curtain or his finger. What is this you think? What? Like this little blur you see coming oh, over her shoulder. Attention. And it's cool it because it kind of just fades into her. I mean, they all have the same concept. If you look at number one, three, and four, they all have the, like the foreground. And it kind of makes you, it makes you feel like you're in the picture and you're looking at it. Like you're in, you're there in person, kind of like peeping. He took so many good photos of her. Like, God damn. And then he could puts be a towel. one by one after. It could be a towel, huh? Mm -hmm. Like the colors are so good, like the brown tans. That's something I find crazy because you could do so much and manipulate in photo versus video. This photo is so sick. Yeah, it's clean. Nice, clean lighting. Oh, this, was, this one was sick to me, this template. I really like. And I did it kind of similar with one of my photos because I really liked it. But instead of the photo, I added the 3D gift. It's ashy brown. And like the way he poses them, I don't know if they pose them or how he directs, but it's cool that they have the sweaters around their neck. It's just a whole vibe. It's just like, I don't know, it's like, it looks cool. Like it's an accessory, the way they're using it. And the colors are really sick to me. Okay, next one. Ilio, Ilio? Ilo, Ilo feel? That's what I keep telling, saying. It's hard, huh? Ilo, Ilo feel? But this person or people, I don't know if it's a group. Band? They're whatever. a band, yeah. right? Yeah. They're artists, but like, I don't know who does their videos or photos. I don't know if it's them, <clears throat> but they don't mention them in the comments. But dude, their work is freaking good. Like, yeah, the way I think they, they're amazing. The way they promote themselves is super artistic. And like, I've been watching their videos a lot because I, I get a lot of inspiration from it. Okay, let me, hold on. I'm not going to talk. I'm going to play this video. I'm going to play this one first because I actually like this one better. I have this recurring dream. And it's always the same. The light is between day and night, and I'm nervous. And I can feel this pressure on my chest. And I have this feeling that something is gonna happen. And then I hear this ringing. And it's this fucking phone in the middle of the beach. And I know if I pick up, things will be better. But I don't. I've never picked up the phone. I just stand there and it keeps ringing and ringing and ringing. Hello. I think they fucked oh up. Oh my god, though, that's good though. It was good, but I think they fucked up that she picked up the phone. Like, nice. I don't think she should have picked up the phone. She's saying, I keep, I keep letting it ring. So how's it going to ring if she picked it up? She gave in. But one thing to me that's really cool. Oh, that's cool, right, honey, because it says hello. One thing that's cool to me. Like, the thing is, you got to really execute, right? If you have an idea. Mm -hmm. Colors are really good. Uh, the voice. They had to get someone with a good voice. Mm -hmm. The voiceover was really good. And the story that they were saying was really good. And then the little, what is it called when you make, like, if I'm zipping and I'm getting that audio? What is that called? Oh... Foley? Like David Schiffer talks about Foley? it, like adding into it? Foley? Yeah, Foley, yeah. Okay, like that, like they did that. Like sound effects. Yeah, yeah, sound effects. So when the camera came on, they had those sound effects, like it's just a clean... clean the ambience clean. was there too, like the, the waves, the ocean. And this is a perfect example when people say that I'm like an artist or something like that. To me, I'm not an artist. Like when I think of that, like that's art to me. Like the am I, like I'm not there yet, you know? I think the production is there. Like you could tell that they put time and, and effort into like knowing what's going to go into the film or into this little trailer. And I would play this video, but we might take a little bit long. But this is another good one. I'll play a little bit for you guys, and then we'll move on to the next person. It's like being lost in a dark forest. Your eyes dilate to adjust. But it's still too dark to see. So you extend your feet in front of you to make sure it's okay to keep moving forward. I'll stop it, but you guys can kind of see the idea with like, the videos they film. And yeah, I'm gonna have them, I'm gonna have everyone I'm mentioning linked down below so you guys can check them out. Do the colors on that too. 
And every shot is slow mo, which is kind of mm-hmm. cool. Mm hmm. Well, I mean, there's so much you could talk about them. It's like the, the even, even like the text that they use, like the actual oh, I forgot to say the that. colors. You see how the top and the bottom are different fonts, but it still looks really clean. Oh, the, the and then, and then the subtitles. I think subtitles add so much to it. Yeah, but what you're saying right here, like that's mm-hmm. sick. It's and graphic designing, typography. Yeah, and even the colors are kind of matching the background, so it's it's uh, complementary colors. The pink and the that like light. Faded blue. There's so much art, huh? Yes, yeah. it's just crazy. Like whoever this person is, who is the artist, man, you get down. Let's see if they tag someone. They did, but I forgot who it was. Oh, amazing, Lance Williams. We got, we gotta know. We gotta know. I got to. Oh, maybe this guy. Maybe I'll look more into this. <laughs> Next person. Last person I'm gonna show. And this girl is really good at against styling. And I don't think I'm gonna take forever on this one, but I'm not. Your girl needs. Congrats to her because she just had a baby with, I don't know his name, like I don't wanna mess up his name. I've been messing everyone's name up. Dejan, Dejan, Dejan or Dejan? But dude, that, okay, this is her husband. This guy's styling is freaking good too. I'm gonna link him down because his styling is super clean. And if you guys are looking for outfits to shoot like of a male model, Definitely use this guy for your inspo because his styling is 100. So now let's look at, so Nina, his girlfriend or wife, I mean, her styling is super diverse. So if you want to look for streetwear stuff or, I don't know, like, I don't know what to consider everything else because I just like streetwear, so that's what I look for when I'm looking at her stuff. And let me look for the colored versions. That one's clean. This one? You should that one out of everything. This one? Yeah. She has way better ones though. This one's clean and simple, like yeah. the little cherries and black and black. Uh, the little red. red accents in the freaking top. Like, it, okay, like, looking at photos like this, to me, makes me understand, like, what colors look good together. Mm-hmm. Like, it's so contrasty, it looks good. And that's why I thank people who know how to dress, because then they give me ideas. <laughs> so I don't have to learn how to dress, I just look at their stuff. I like this sweater look, with their hair color. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I've actually never been a big fan of green, but that looks cool. And I also like this. The Kangol hat? That's what they're called? Mm-hmm. Bucket hat? No, no, the brand, the freaking kangaroo. Oh, I didn't even know. But I like the look. It's like a streetwear look. Let's see more. Let's see more. Okay, I like this one. I know it's all black, but to me, it's clean. Like, I don't know if it's a vest or something she's wearing in overall, like with the belt. Like, it looks like attachments right here, like overall attachments. It might be in overall. And it's cool. Like, like, okay, that's another thing. I'm looking at black outfits with white shoes look clean, and it had red. And I like how the shirt has, like, a little one red line, which kind of complements the shoes. And I like the background. That's another idea I would guess. Like, oh, that's a really cool background. I could probably make something good out of it. The top could remind me of Black Skill. I don't remember how Black Skill was. I only had one hat. Everything <laughs> on Black Skill I saw was black. Like it was like. Were, <laughs> you get me? And they have one contrasted color, like the little red accents. That's like true, like that. my hat. Mm-hmm. This is clean to me. I like the fur. No Conor McGregor action. It's cool. You don't like the color? I like the color of the blue with the diamond. Not diamond shirt, but I thought it was diamond for a minute. And the silver to go with the blue. Like, it just teaches me how to match colors in a way. <laughs> Why is this thing? That was oh. the cleanest fucking suit he wore. This isn't a streetwear, but to me, I like this. The colors look good. That's, yeah, the colors are clean. The editing was good. Colors are good. So if you like, you know, something besides like streetwear. One. Which one? Next to it. This one? To the right. Up, right. This one? Mm-hmm. I like the colors and editing. Yeah. Colors are good. Because you think about, look at her look at her shirt or sweater, whatever it is, and in the background, it's got the flowers. Autumn. Kind of similar colors. Like autumn colors, like fall. And then, that's what I mean. Like, look at the background. You see that they made it more orange than what it is in the front. Huh. But it complements it. So you have to change certain colors to make it look good. This outfit to me is cool. It's different, but it's cool. I, I just like the way she... Snakeskin. It looks cool, though. To me, this one looks cool. And this is one, okay, this is how I actually found her. I didn't even mention them in this video. I'll, cool. I'll save it for another video, but to the nines, or back to the nines, they featured her in one of the videos, and I, that's how I found her and her boyfriend, or husband. Okay, this is sick too to me. Jacket, camo top with the reflective bottoms. To me, that looks sick. I, I wish I could shoot this outfit. Reflective was in for a bit. Dude, this looks good. This outfit looks good. This too, another color. Red and that black and white. Color. This looks clean. I said guard, that one's hard. I used to hate red, but now I like red. I used to hate pizza. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, after, but after Blaze Pizza, I now love pizza. 
The Roman tomatoes on the Blaze pizza. Like, this is not my style, like, outfit-wise, but this looks clean. Yeah, that looks, that looks cool. That's really cool. Cruel? That looks really cruel? cruel? I was gonna say did good. I, say? I was gonna say good and what? I cool? said guard. <laughs> I said hard. No, I said, I wanted to say hard, but I said guard. <laughs> cool. Cruel? You know where that's yeah, from, right? Yeah, Mean Girls? Cruel. I meant to say cool, and then I started to say great. Okay, okay, she styled, okay. <laughs> I said okay, like, three times. <laughs> So, so Nina was featured in um, Cassie and Ricky's video and she styled both of them. She has the best outfit right there. And when she styled them, I was like, damn, no, I like these blue camel pants, like the one with Sean is. That's what I liked about it. And, and this was reflective, this jacket. I know you can't tell in this photo, but it's reflective. And I don't know, dude, her styling is really good. And How do you know it's reflective? Because they said it in the video from what I remember. Oh, it is reflective. No, you can't tell from right here. Okay, we're going to go through a few more outfits because I'm actually liking her outfits as I'm going through these. This is different. I wouldn't know what to call this kind of style, but it's that cool. That looks 90s. 90s baggy. Mm -hmm. the, what's it called? Bell bottoms? No, that's not what bell bottoms are. But they're yeah, like... Yeah, they are. Bell are bottoms they? mean like with the bottoms bell out. Like, they're big. like parachuted from mm -hmm. the tips. It looks cool. Uh, cruel? <laughs> cruel part two. Michael, cruel's not going to happen. Okay, we'll find one more and we're done skis. Colors here, okay, hold on, the colors here are cool. I was gonna say that one too. <laughs> Even though it's not a completely like outfit look, the it's blue the, and the orange yeah, hair. Yeah, the hair and the, and the top. And I guess that's something cool about shooting somebody with hair, you can contrast it with their outfits. True. And that's what's cool, like the fact that that just, that just caught my attention as I'm scrolling, that's you mean, how you know. You mean something. cruel. <laughs> that, that's how you know it's good. Even this Fila top looks cool to that me. That one is clean. Clean with the hair too, yeah. again. The whole this look. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna get one more because that was pretty cool. Let me see. Different. This is different than what I would shoot, but kind of cool still. Cruel? <laughs> God <laughs> damn. <laughs> All right, guys. I can't believe you, you, picked your, you uh, used up your last pick for that. Pick another one. This one? I won't speak to you, but pick another one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. I got one. That one was clean. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's the black, black and red again. And that's, okay, that's another thing that's cool, right? Because we're photographers, and if you were to post a photo, you're most likely will edit it, you know, like a lot, right? You'll edit your photo. Like, if you're to post any photo you post, you're going to edit, like, the most. So I'm to think about it. People who aren't photographers, but they want to promote their YouTube channel that they're making and whatever it, it might be. Or like, say they're making an Instagram and they want to do it about traveling. They still have to edit their photos. They're not photographers, but they got to edit and to me, like, I think she does a really good job of picking a good background for her outfits. Like, that's why it pops. She's not a photographer, but she's... She has to make it pop. She pays attention to the little details uh -huh. that make it look really... Without the editing and everything. It's like, you have to put, you have to have a strong base before you can actually move on. And she, okay, she adds aesthetic to her photos, is what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. Like, picks good locations that she knows matches the outfit. Like, she's doing something that I would do. But yeah, colors and outfits, Nina's badass. You guys should follow her and check her out for some more outfit inspos for your shoot. And that's all the time we have for today. I don't know how long this video is. It seems hella long, huh? Dude, that's like an I hour? Know. I have no idea. I think we started like at 11.30. It's like an hour, but I'm going to cut it, so I don't know how long it's going to be. But I hope you guys liked this video, and if you guys did, let us know down below, and we'll start sharing a lot more of the people who influence us or inspire us in some way um, with our work. And yeah, I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Keep it cruel. Keep it cruel. <laughs> All right, peace.